you can get on stage and off stage without bumping into the set, you're halfway there to doing okay. I auditioned for a, uh, a German yogurt, or you would say yogurt. About the second audition I did, now this is a sticky situation. I was auditioning for this play, and I really, really wanted it. I was auditioning to get into Juilliard. I heard that they were doing The Crucible. It was like a weird sci-fi show that Jessica Alba was on. One of the sons in the Dustin Hoffman version of Death of a Salesman. I was standing on the stage, and I was doing the audition, and Dustin Hoffman was in the audience with like a stage manager and, and maybe the director. And in the middle of my audition, he got up and walked out of the theater. I pretty much thought, well, that didn't go so well. I had to imagine I was completely naked, sitting down on a block of ice, but it couldn't be funny in any way. He was a German guy. He was going, it has to be very serious, okay? So just, you are naked, you are sitting on the ice, but I do not want it to be humorous. Try and do it yourself at home if you want to. It's very difficult to A, not make it that humorous, and B, not think I should take another direction with my life. I went in and had a long session with the director, and I really, really left feeling like I totally got that play. I'm totally, that's mine. And it wasn't mine. A few days after I found out I didn't get it, uh, I was at my waitering job and I ended up waiting on the director and the actor who was her boyfriend at the time, who would have played my brother and who I read with in the audition. And like, they were at this table of people like being all gregarious and celebratory. And, and then I was like, do you want fries with that? And uh, yeah. I prepared this monologue that, um, <laughs> that I've been working on since I was a kid. I mean, since I was, it was James Baldwin's The Amen Corner. There were so many people there, I was so nervous. I remember going into the room and I got down on my knees and I, you know, spread my arms open and I was ready to act and completely blanked on it. One thing led to another. They asked me if I had another piece and I remember seeing this guy do this piece on YouTube, uh, <laughs> this Shakespeare piece that I'd never heard of him, you know before, but I had been watching him do it, and so I just kind of memorized it and had it in the back of my mind. It was from Titus Andronicus, and I just pulled it out of my behind, and I just did it. I gotta find this dude and find this monologue and see if it's still on YouTube and thank him for my, you know, for helping me get into Juilliard. The morning of that audition, I woke up really early. I went to yoga at like seven. I was like, uh, like, be in the moment. And then I had so much time to kill that I took a nap and then I woke up like 20 minutes before I had to be at the audition. And I was like, <laughs> in the cab, I was like doing vocal warm ups, uh, like a garbage person. And I was only two minutes late and the other person was still in there. But because I was like, I'm late, I'm late. I like went to open the door and someone else in the waiting room was like, someone is still in there, wait until they call you. And I was like, right, right, right. I wonder if because I was like still shaking and really anxious, they were like, oh, she can totally be like distressed and uh, possessed by the devil. There were no words in this audition, but it was for the role of Gill Girl. Gill like fish. The director walked me through what was happening. You know, Jessica Alba comes in and you know, she, you look at her, you kind of, maybe you recognize her, maybe you don't. And then a fight breaks out and everybody starts hitting each other and you start screaming, but you scream like a dolphin. So I'm like, arr, 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 arr. <laughs> So, and then they're like, okay, great. I was engaged to my wife and her last boyfriend, he was doing his first movie and I went to audition for him. And I remember going in going, this is gonna be really awkward. And we ended up getting on so well. He kind of offered me the role on the spot. And then the studio or his producers said, no, who the hell is Hugh Jackman? No, absolutely not. 